Hey, what is up guys? Daily Science here in this video, I'm back with another cool science experiment. So for this science experiment, you will need nail polish remover and styrofoam cups. To start off, just go ahead and get yourself a plate and pour a little bit of nail polish remover in it. And then just go ahead and drop in your styrofoam cup and that's pretty much it. Just watch and enjoy what happens. It's pretty sick, it just starts dissolving and disappearing and what's happening right now on screen is actually in real time it's not sped up so this is what how fast it will be dissolving if you try it yourself After the styrofoam cup melts, it, to describe it, it kind of pretty much feels like slimy or gooey. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this to the side and see how it looks by the end of this video. And stay tuned for that, so don't back out yet. So this time I'm just going to go ahead and pour the acetone into the styrofoam cup. And as you guys can see, you can pretty much see it just eat away at the cup and almost instantly form a hole right through it and now this styrofoam cup cannot be used. Now for the final time I'm just going to go ahead and pour the acetone on top of the styrofoam cup just so you guys can see how it looks if you pour it from the top of it instead of putting the styrofoam cup into the acetone. And as you guys can see you can just slowly see the the styrofoam cup crumbling from the top to the bottom and it actually kind of looks really sick and the more you put the more faster it'll just melt become gooey slime. And before you know it, the only evidence of its existence would be a little slime at the bottom of this plate. Now I do have to warn you guys that nail polish remover is extremely flammable. So if you guys try to do this at home, just don't do it near a flame source or a spark. Because if it catches on fire, it most likely will burn your house down. Not to mention the styrofoam cup itself is actually really flammable. So try this experiment at home, but just don't set it on fire because I really don't want you guys to hurt yourself. So as for the little slimy stuff that we left aside before, as you guys can see, it kind of felt more like gel. Some of them were more stretchy than others, so I'm pretty sure that if you let it out to dry long enough, it'll probably turn back to hard, sort of like styrofoam. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and test out if this is still flammable. And as you guys can see, this is still extremely flammable. If this was, like, this will be your best friend in case of you needed to start a fire somewhere and you were stuck in the forest. And if you had this, you'll be pretty much safe. And after I blew the fire, this kind of, this, the outer casing was pretty much rock hard, like, and the inside was just still soft. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to set it on fire one more time just to see how it looks. Now this time the entire way around is pretty much like a crust, the outer side is pretty much like a hard crust and inside is where all the gooey liquid, gooish uh, stuff, it kind of looks nasty when you squish it but yeah. So that's about it for this science experiment, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a like down below because it helps me a ton. And if you guys have any suggestions for how I can make my videos better, how to improve my video quality, if you guys have anything along those lines just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will read it. and. I will, I'll try my best to make my videos better. And if I'm doing anything good right now, just, you know, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.